there's this well-kept secret in the renewable energy space that 30 to 40 percent of their energy never make it to the grid. So as more and more of this form of energy gets built, more and more of it is wasted. The solution to problems depends on your lens and your perspective. If you change your perspective, solutions tend to present themselves. I have my family in the back with me. I have my older brother and my eldest daughter. Beautiful sunny day in Amarillo, Texas. I'm a computer scientist by training. I started my career about 25 years ago. I learned how to scale a business, how to understand the effects of technology it relates to businesses. I built a passion selling solutions to big enterprise companies. And it's not just about power, it's, it's about reshaping the future of pretty much everything. So you can see the, the wind farm now, see it up ahead, look at that. Oh yeah, I see that. There's a huge power plant right there. That's really That's, good. That is a realization of a vision that we've had for the better part of six years. Here we are, Road CRF, the home of Project Dorothy. So welcome to Saluna's offices, and this is Dorothy Vaughn. Project Dorothy is our flagship data center in Texas. It is the blueprint for which we base all of our future data centers. The concept of co-locating a data center with a renewable energy power plant, in this case, a wind farm. Modular data center. So remember I told you each building is like standalone data center on its own, and then we connect them together. So we build these scalable, air-cooled facilities. We provide that space to very large, hyperscale Bitcoin mining companies. Because of our low power costs and customers enjoy access to power, that's the best in the industry. And customers come to us because they get white glove service. So over here, what you have is the site for Dorothy 2. This is the next 48 megawatts of our Bitcoin hosting facility. The whole concept of building this in a uh, modular way is that you can turn on the facility incrementally. You don't have to wait to do one big band energizing of the, of the site. And then the second advantage is that you can also de-energize it. If power needs to go to the grid, I can power down a third, power down a two thirds, power down a full third, if more power needs to go to the grid. So that flexibility is also in the, the architectural design of the site. And at that same site, we're building Project Grace. Project Grace is our two megawatt Helix data center. And Helix is the new AI design for our data centers. We're gonna build it bigger, faster, cheaper, if you will, uh, with some new technology. Project Cadi is our 166 megawatt facility sitting next to our 300 megawatt wind farm. That's our next iteration of the Dorothy design. Cadi is also most likely the first site of a scaled AI data center facility we're going to be building. Just today we announced Project Rosa, and Rosa is at 187 megawatt site. And Rosa also will be a home of AI and Bitcoin mining facility as well. If you look at Saluna, we had to convince people that you can put computing behind the meter and co-locate it with the power plant. They're like, you can't do that. There's no, there's no type of computing you could put back there. I did not know John. I knew uh, one of John's team members who asked me to come take a meeting to hear about this green computing startup that they had. I just was doubtful that there was anything truly new out there in the space. And we says, well, there is this type of computing and it's fairly batchable. And if you can, just, you can put the computing under the power curve, then you can actually find a way to fit it in if you design a data center that's flexible. Um, but when I took the meeting and I got to meet with John and hear his team's vision for what they were doing, I walked out of that meeting thinking, wow, okay, there really is something special here, and it could be an exciting investment opportunity for us and an important innovation for the world. Artificial intelligence, it's going to revolutionize you know, how industries work across markets. The problem is it's very, very energy intensive. The solution is computing. By building the data center, we make energy that would not have been produced become produced and monetize at the same time, so things like Generative AI, training and tuning to live in these environments, which increases the chances that the investment in that project becomes positive and ultimately survives. That's why renewable energy today is now becoming the fastest growing and lowest cost of energy. The potential of creating more ways to produce energy will 
over time drive more investment in the space and I think making renewable energy the global superpower, the primary source of energy that we use, and using computing as the Kindle, as a catalyst for making that happen. You're just solving a series of, of, of challenging problems. That's where all of the learning comes from. And so the more you can have a diverse group of people on your team that have different experiences, you can solve those problems. The team here, you know, they're focused on continuously upgrading things like insulation and uh, management of temperature, uh, you know, and some of the equipment and stuff. To actually come out and see it having been implemented is pretty cool. Now, this is my first time visiting the site, and it's great to see. To be able to see it running in operation, and then also to be able to see the new phase get started, it, it's a pretty exciting day. What you're seeing here is the groundbreaking of Dorothy 2, which is the doubling the size of Dorothy. We're going from 50 megawatts to 98 megawatts. We're adding another 48 megawatts to Dorothy. One of the most exciting things about this is we're creating convergence, bringing the energy industry to computing. We like to say the future of energy is computing, and at the same time, the future of computing is renewable energy. You know, on the trip, the reason I brought my older brother and my eldest daughter is because as a parent, you're really trying to leave the world better. You found it. This is the first time where I actually feel like I'm working on something that has a direct connection to that. I'm not just helping the economic growth of companies, but I'm also helping improve the planet in the long term.